Hello and welcome back to Maker's Muse. My name is Angus and in this video I'll be telling you 5 good reasons why a hot air gun is your 3D printer's new best friend that's coming up. So recently I started the 3D printing on YouTube hashtag in which I asked a question, what's your favourite 3D printing gadget? And in my response I said a hot air gun, which a lot of people thought was quite surprising. So what I'm going to do in this video is tell you 5 awesome reasons why you need to get hold of a hot air gun, because it's going to make your 3D printing experience a whole lot better. Alright, so reason number one, this one's pretty obvious, in winter it gets pretty cold. 3D printers really don't like the cold very much, it causes warping and all sorts of print failures. Heat gun to the rescue, you can blast the chamber of your 3D printer or blast the bed to make it heat up way faster and this ambient temperature increase will mean your print's not going to warp as much, it's far likely to stick to the bed and you get much better results. In winter I've resorted in the past to putting printers in cardboard boxes, blasting them with a heat gun and closing the box to keep the ambient temperature high and it makes the prints far more successful, I'm not kidding you, so yeah. That's reason number one. Number two, you can use a hot air gun to remove unsightly marks from your 3D prints. When you remove the support or raft from your 3D print, particularly ABS in dark colours like black, you're going to leave marks due to what's called crazing, where the plastic forms micro cracks where it causes the light to reflect differently, so that black plastic no longer looks black, it actually starts to look white. But a quick blast with your hot air gun can remove those micro cracks and restore the colour back to your 3D printed part. Be warned though, you are using a very hot uh, airflow onto your 3D printed part, too much heat will damage the part, you will start to have it change shape, possibly warp and start melting. So the secret here is to have a really high temperature and a very quick movement. Controlled, not too fast but definitely not too slow. Number three, pretty much what I just said, you can actually use a hot air gun to tweak your 3D printed parts. If you need them to be a slightly different shape, you can soften the plastic with your hot air gun. Again, be very careful with this because 3D printed parts are usually printed hollow and they're likely to contract as they're heated up and made pliable. So take this technique with a grain of salt, but I have used it in the past to tweak things slightly for a better fit, for example, bracelets or mounting points, which are quite not in the right place. Also, you can use it to undo warping, sort of, as a, like a last ditch attempt if you don't have time to reprint the part. And number four, if you print with PLA, you may know this pain. If you do not have satisfactory retraction settings, your part may have little wisps joining all the little points together on the 3D printed part as it builds up. These tiny cobwebs are a real pain to remove, but you can use your trusty hot air gun to blast them away. Because they're so thin, the hot air gun literally melts them almost instantaneously, and they'll melt away back to the part, but because the part has more thermal mass, it's not going to melt. Again, like I've said for all the previous tips, do not blast it for too long, particularly PLA, it softens at a very low temperature, so this is literally a, just a really quick uh, hot air blast to remove the cobweb wisps, but yeah, don't do it for too long or you'll soften the part, unless that's what you want to do. And finally, this is a really good pro tip from something I've discovered purely by accident. When you're vapor smoothing ABS plastics that are quite unusual, for example the colour changing ABS you can buy, it often tends to dry after the smoothing with a really horrible whitish colour. And I think this is due to the plastics not being pure ABS because they're adding something else to get that thermochromatic effect, but this whiting uh, effect pretty much ruins the print after it's been acetone smooth, which is no good. You can actually use heat to get rid of the white I've found in most of these plastics and restore them back to their former glory, except they look better because they've been vapor smoothed. So you need to use quite a lot of heat to do this I've found, so I tend to make sure the hot air gun's heated up heaps and then go wham and get about one or two shots, again not wanting to sink too much heat into the part, but the effect can be dramatic and it makes it look as awesome as the original except it's all smooth and looking funky. So there you have it guys, 5 awesome reasons to use a hot air gun on your 3D printing escapades. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And for those guys interested in the Fallout build, bum bum bum, I'm well in the process of assembling the thing. And I'm just in the stages of the putting, sanding, putty, sanding, smoothing, sanding, before I start to paint and do the final assembly. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again later here on Maker's Muse. Bye!